welcome back to That's Life with John Carver. This is episode number 417. And I'm calling this episode The Gray Stuff in Your Skull. I know, weird title, right? There's a lot of people who think less of themselves because they aren't like other people. They look at some of their peers and family members and mentors and people on television and in movies and in society and are jealous of them. They make assumptions about their intelligence and their talents. As an example, I, I loved music as far back as I can remember. And in time and with practice, in my mind, I could hear and see the changes in the music as I learned how to play the guitar, then the piano and organ. Most of the people around me had no idea how that could be accomplished. Even today, some four decades later, I will think musically so much that I have to really can't have music playing around me because when I'm working, my mind will then quote unquote play the music instead of focusing on the project that I'm working on at the moment. Very weird. I think a lot of musicians may feel the same way. Now, my wife, on the other hand, Tammy, uh, she's very logical and very detail oriented. She gets laser focused on tasks and is really blind, if you will, to the people that are around her when her laser focus is engaged. We're complete opposites. Many people have no idea, really, of the insane hard work that it's taken for some people to appear really smart and talented. Let me say it again. Many people have no idea of the insane hard work it has taken for some people to appear really smart and talented. Many people don't understand the power of neurotransmitters in their brain like dopamine and serotonin and how they impact everything in their lives. Most people I've discovered go through their entire lives and have never ever maximized the gray stuff in their skull. It's really hard work for you to understand how you operate. It takes lots of research and discovery to understand you. You can, like an electrician, rewire your brain in ways that will astound you. As an example, some people struggle with reading books, so they, instead of reading the books, they listen to books, and in many cases, remember and leverage the information in the books in incredible ways. Almost anything can be learned if the why is big enough. Let me say it again. Almost anything can be learned if the why is big enough. Your eyes, I don't know if you know this, but your eyes are extensions of your brain. Again, your eyes are extensions of your brain. Think about that a second. Your eyes are protrusions from your brain, so it's essential that you allow into your eyes that will impact you in a positive way. Designing your life in such a way that you reduce distractions and negative people is huge if you have any hope of maximizing how your mind operates. Very few of us are practically perfect in every way. You may have heard of Mary Poppins who was practically perfect in every way. Author Matthew Walker writes, quote, Sleep is the single most effective thing we can do to reset our brain and body's health each day. The recycle rate of a human being is around 16 hours. After 16 hours of being awake, the brain begins to fail. Humans need more than seven hours of sleep each night to maintain cognitive performance." Unquote. So the more you understand how your brain works, you can learn how to maximize it. You can create systems and shortcuts and habits that'll make up for where you struggle and discover the wonder in the brain that you do have inside you. Protect and learn about that gray stuff that's in your skull. Once I did this, my life changed forever. Your brain and your future has no limitations. My name is John Carver. Thanks for watching.